Good morning, friend. I'm going to go ahead and take the puppies up to the house, put them inside, just to keep them safe. A little bit thinks that she is 12 foot tall and bulletproof and going after the tractor, so I just want to make sure that I'm not going to run them over if they get too close. And also, I'd like to keep the gate open and not have to worry about them running around. So come along for the ride and let's do some yard work together and have a little fun. I'm not trying to mow the yard. That is not my goal. My goal is to mulch up these leaves. So mowing or mulching, whatever you want to call it, in a straight line is not needed. I'm just going over the things that need to be mulched up. You'll notice that I'm just kind of staying with the, the leaves. They're just, they're the ones that are keeping my attention. This year we hadn't gotten a lot of rain, so we're in a drought of sorts. So mowing the yard was not a necessity for the most part this year. You know, a couple of times, I think we mowed maybe five times, six times. So my yard is suffering for it, the, uh, you know, because of the drought, but there's nothing I can do Mother Nature decided that it didn't want to rain for us as much th this year, but apparently we have some rain coming, and to be honest, I don't want to have 
snow, I don't want to have the cold, but if it's going to be cold, let's just let it snow a lot. That way when it does melt, it does help with the water table some. Hey y'all. So I stopped videoing because I caught somebody trying to break into my neighbor's house in the middle of daylight. So it was a pretty busy afternoon. I'm still out here trying to mulch up these leaves. I'm going to put them in a pile. You can see a pile right there trying to start. Let me see if I can get a close over view of it right there. So that way I can put them all around my rose bushes. But yeah, I was. Uh, I went in the house to quickly load up the dishwasher, which wasn't much. Probably about 30 seconds worth of work. That way I didn't have to worry about anything later today. And I put a, pulled out some homemade spaghetti sauce. And uh, I think I'm going to make uh, some goulash, just something simple. Anyways, I, I, while I was doing the dishes, I looked out and I seen somebody trying to get into the front. And I thought maybe that was this guy's daddy but uh, apparently it wasn't. And then he went around the side to where you know you could see the, the, the side uh, doors right there, the sliding doors. They tried to get into that and apparently they couldn't because he kicked the door and then went around the back to the back door right here. You can see that back door right there. And at that time I'd already snuck out and come through my gates my gate where my tractor is and I came around and I asked yeah, I said hey what are you doing and the guy looked up and took off out down the road we did get a hold of the owner and prior to that uh, I had a gentleman about two days ago three days ago come up to me and was asking me all kinds of questions about the owner of the house about the house if it was abandoned, and I said no. If it was owned or rented, and I says, you know, I said owned. And I says, what do you want to know this for? And he says, was well, the guy young or old? Well, I just told him, I said, he's a really young guy and he's a hunter. I was just trying to deter the guy. The guy is not a hunter, or at least, I, well, he might be. He's a country boy, but, um, you know, but he's not overly young. He's in his 40s. But I was just trying to deter the guy because I didn't know what the guy wanted. But it was, it was the same guy that tried to get into the house. So I don't know. I'm just glad I was doing the 30 seconds worth of dishes. Because if I was doing anything else in my house, I wouldn't have been looking over there by chance. I Something caught my eye. I looked up and there was the guy. I wouldn't have seen that. And then no, no telling what could have happened to our friend's house or his belongings or whatever. So... Anyways, that, that was the reason why I stopped the video and I had to go in the house real quick and then there was just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. But I still have to do the backyard and I'll take you along for a few minutes on that. But other than that, you know, I, I most of the day is gone and, you know, I need to get in the house and water my plants, take care of the animals, which are, they're just kind of running around right now. And, um... We'll go from there. I'll show you the end results of the yard. And then uh, that's it. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I do a multitude of different types of videos. M mainly just me living my life and just learning new things. So that way when we do get to go out in the country to live, I don't have to rely so much on the electrical grid. I know we're going to tie up into one. But I want to use solar for the most part, for just the, the smaller things, and then um, and then go from there. But okay, let's start this baby up. She is a little dirty from going through the yard, dusty. We haven't had a lot of rain this year, so I'm just I got the deck up. You can see it's up pretty far, so that way I'm not actually cutting the grass. I'm only mulching these leaves. Actually, I'm just going to be moving these leaves. So that way I can utilize them up front. So, because the weather's supposed to turn cold here in the next several days. And I just want my rose bushes protected.
I need to get back here and trim all these vines and stuff back and some of the trees just so that way nature doesn't take over my yard and it looks like I'm going pretty fast and on the tractor but really I'm not I think it's just because you know it's videoing and it's up in the air I do want to burn that wood in the back there on the wood pile but because of the drought I really don't want to start a fire and not have anything to be able to put it out you know if it gets out of control so it's just going to, have to sit there for another year
Now I'm going to pull out the wheelbarrow and rake some of these leaves up and take them apart. I did put my puppies in the house that way I can open up the gate and get in and out without them getting out now they won't run off but I still want to make sure that they're safe and putting them in the house will do that I've been asked if my dogs are indoor dogs and yes absolutely I do not allow them to stay outside in the elements if it's cold they're in the house if it's hot they're in the house if it's nice they could be outside a friend came today and helped me put the leaves around the rose bushes to give them some insulation throughout the winter not only will the leaves help keep the roses warmer it's kind of like a blanket it will also, when it gets wet outside, it will also help retain some of the moisture. I didn't do it last year and my roses suffered for it this year. So I did some research and found that just creating a insulation like mulch, leaves, uh, you know, anything that can, you know, help keep the warmth in and also retain some of the moisture is really good for roses throughout the winter months. And like I said, I didn't do it last year, so my roses suffered and this is why we're doing it this year. I'm surprised you haven't gotten stuck yet by those thorns. Did you just get stuck? <laughs> One of them on the ground. We got puppies watching us. Oh. I, I thought I heard whimpering. <laughs> she whistles. Huh? She whistles. Yeah. She's doing that whistle while you work. 
long as it's not while I twerk. Yes. Right. There we go. I think that'll do it, Eric.